to another episode of Sleeping Giants, Red Star Belgrade. Now, we've been on a pretty decent run in the league, actually, ever since we uh, had that rather unfortunate defeat against Radnik um, and the terrible result in the cup. We've, you know, we've been smashing the goals of Betsky. You know, a 7-2, okay, 2-1, 3-0, 5-1, 3-0, 4-0. And we are barreling down on the title, which, of course, we did win in the last episode anyway. And this month, we've actually somehow got better. I, I can't even explain it, really. Um... We played FK Rad. Mihailo Ristic picked up an, an injury in this game, which is going to probably keep him out for the last game of the season, which is today. But that is sort of the side issue in this game. You'll note that they had the same number of shots than us, and we had one more on target. This was a mugging. Um, I don't know how the hell we got five goals in this game. When you look, they actually had more clear-cut chances than us as well. It was very, very unfair on them, really, to lose by so many goals. But it just shows how Rakowski again. Otto is so good on the edge of the area. They're slotting through. It wasn't Rakowski. It was Nikola Karakliec making it 1-0 to Red Star on just two minutes here. And they did themselves a penalty through Milosevic. So, okay, one of their clear-cut chances was from the penalty. My target was to see if we could get 100 goals, and we needed 11 from our last three matches. Now, we certainly set about getting on our way with that one by scoring five here. Away from home as well. Ball in, comes down, and Rakowski this time on the end of it to put us back in front. 2-1 with his 17th goal of the season. What a player. And I generally think I've lost count of how many assists Otto's got, so I'm going to be curious to see the stats on that, because he's been so good in this the last couple of games of the season here. Ball eventually falls, well, nearly fell to him there, and it's eventually cleared. Now, it was only 2-1 at this point, and in the second half, they really did play some great football against us, and they just failed to take their chances. Karimann actually made some really top-class saves, and so credit to him for that, because they did play some great stuff, and we just managed to pick them off, basically. That was all that happened, really, uh, for the rest of this game. We just bided our time and picked off the goals when they made little mistakes like that. Ristich there with the ball to Despotovic, slides it in to the channel. Kraklic robs it back across, and it was Ristich to put it into an empty net for another goal. Uh, actually has three goals in two games now, Mihailo Ristic, but he did pick up an injury in this game, which will probably keep him out for the rest of the season. That made it 3-1. Then we won a penalty with two minutes left, and Bosancic capitalised on that to make it 4-1. And game over, obviously. However, we still managed to find time for one more kick in the teeth for Rad, and I don't think they deserved this at all, but we were not going to give in because I really want that 100 goals this year. We're never going to be able to beat the total of 111. It seems very unlikely. That being said, if we get dominating games and start winning like this every week, maybe a couple of seasons down the line when we're starting to become a European force, Otto played through, great strike from him, goal. Um, with his 17th goal of the season, then maybe there is a way. If we really are scoring like 5-6 in every game, then there might be a chance for us. But I just can't see that happening. Maybe down the line. Um, so there we go. A 5-1 win in that game was all lovely. Unfortunately, and then the next game, this was just even more of a drubbing. Bosancic and Karaklic picked up injuries in this one, which was a bit of a shame. But at this point in the season, we're just happy to just get ourselves going. Despotovic actually had two wrongly disallowed for offside in this game too. And that was disappointing. Um, like Because it was almost the same goal twice. And he was onside on both occasions. And it really disappointed me. That we were literally ahead after just a few seconds as Despotovic went through, made it 1-0. He really should have had four goals in this game. But he made it 1-0 with his 10th goal of the season and pretty much gave us an insurmountable lead after a minute of this game. Then on 11 minutes, um, they actually had a corner. I thought they were going to come back into it, but uh, it was cleared and Otto, of all people, brings it out and picks out a lovely ball downfield and watch this from Despotovic just for pure determination. Round one, comes towards the other, smash. That's 2-0. Then... In between then and the next goal, he actually had two goals disallowed. Yeah, two. All basically played into that channel, runs through, and the goalkeeper was woeful. Batted both of them into the net. Unfortunately, it should have been 4-0 at this point, but it wasn't, which was a shame, but oh well. Um, that would have been four goals for a Despotovic as well. Mikowski plays it out, but Sanchez drops it across, and Otto this time makes it 3-0 after 16 minutes, but it probably should have been 5 at this point. We were just fantastic. Notice they did have some clear-cut chances. They did actually have some decent chances later in this game, um, but by then it was already much too late. Rakowski with the corner again this time to Otto, who once again sweeps it forward. This time cleared. Otto brings it down again across the box, and Bosancic wins goal of the month with that belter of a strike for 4-0 on, on half an hour. And Otto, of course, will pick up another assist. Just a great player. Then, straight into the second half, we just continued the domination. I think I actually went on overload at one point, even though we were falling up, just to see how many goals we could get. Karaklic, Otto with the assist again. Bottom corner, 5-0 to us. And what more do you need from us? From a 
team performance really um probably could have kicked on and got more but we just couldn't find the net we had some chances but they managed to save them so all of that basically leaves the league looking like this um Partizan are actually in a position to come third now. That's how poor they are. They are 23 points behind us, and we are 22 points ahead of Napladak, who have just wrapped up a Europa League spot. Partizan could technically finish fourth uh, this season, which would be unbelievable. Uh, they also lost in the cup final to Proletair Novi Sad. Um, lost 2-0 as well. So Partizan, despite knocking us out with that heroic performance, have now gone out of that as well. Something's really bad. Something's happened there, and it's affected them horrifically, the way this season's finished for them. As you can see, we've got 99 goals scored in the league and a plus 70 goal difference. We are rocking. Uh, average ratings are all over the place for us because we've just got all of them. Uh, Jovic is up there, of course, as top scorer with 14, but Rakows uh, sorry, with 17, but Rakowski has 14 as well. Top assists. Mahatma Otto, Otto has 18 assists in the league. <laughs> wow. So let's take a little look at the squad before we get into the last game of the season. So top goal scorer for us, of course, is Luka Jovic with 31. But Otto is number two with 18 uh, goals. But he also has 26 assists from deep lying forward. That is a performance of a season. 18 goals and 26 assists. Even Jovic, like, what, the way I look at it is I look at it on a point basis. I don't know if any of you guys watch hockey, but like... Um, you know, they, they have assists and goals, but they also have points, which is a, com a culmination of the two. And um, as far as points go, yeah, Yuki Jovic might have 31 goals, but it's only 34 points overall, whereas Otu is rocking a 44-point hole this season. And for me, that makes him our MVP, basically. Rokowski is also right in there, too. Antic with 12 assists from fullback is still bloody brilliant, though. Like, genuinely amazing. Um, but for me, Otu should be our player of the season, in my for my money. But I don't think he will in the end, which is a bit of a shame. I think that will end up going to someone like Rakowski. But it's a shame because he's got look, 26 assists. That's insane. I don't think even Jed Wallace got that for Pompey in our saves. But there you go. So last day of the season, let's go into this one against Chukorichki. We need one goal to get 100. And Bosanchez, of course, picked up a knock. Karaklic is injured. Oh, no, he's suspended, rather. So down to the bare bones a little bit. And Hauga uh, will actually start this game. It's just as well, actually. I've been... He's finally fit again, so he can actually play his first game for us. And it's the last of the season, so good for him. I will be going, of course, with Otto up top, because why the hell not? He's just a... How old is this guy? Because he's an absolute tank. Uh, he's only 25, you know. I just wonder if there's more in him. Like, he's just the perfect deep-lying forward. I don't even know what it is about his stats. Like, for me, like... Okay, they're saying best for false nine, but the way he's played in that deep-lying forward role has been... Utterly brilliant. 12 dribbling, 14 first touch. Finishing's quite decent as well. 14 passing, 14 technique. He has actually got very decent stats for that role. Um, so, yeah, well done you. <laughs> just for You keep being awesome. So that's what we're going to go with for today. Yep, let's just go for it. Ooh, of course, Henning Haugen needs himself a number. It'd be nice to get him a little run out today anyway. You know, people have said good things about him, so I'm hoping you can kind of capitalise on that a little today. I'm just going to make sure we turn... That's on 2-2-D Classic, while I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember this time. Would you believe it? Chukurichki are a decent side, remember. They're fourth in the league, um, I think. So this would be a tough one for us. I'd like to win, though. Or at least score a goal. No, I think we should win this. I want to see if we can finish off the season with just straight wins after that horrible defeat. Just really sort of go, you know, no, no. We deserve this league, and we've been just phenomenal. I don't know what the biggest winning margin of like the league, to like in terms of points, is for this... <laughs> 12 seconds in and Nenad Gavrich has done it. That is the 100th goal of our season. And I thought Luka Jovic's strike was good. Uh, and after 24 seconds, he literally just runs straight in and scores. I mean, what the hell was that for defending? 12 seconds it's taken us to take the lead. And that is uh, just <laughs> unbelievable stuff. But that is 100 goals this season in a 30-game season. So we're averaging more than three goals a game. Kovacevic now. Ball through to Spotovic. Otto is in the back of the net for 2-0. After three minutes, we are two goals to the good. Whatever we've done in this last few... St After we won lost that game, something just seemed to click in this team. And we have just gone into top gear now. Um, and it's been... It's been a joy to watch, to be honest with you. Scoring sort of four and fives in almost every game now. And looking a lot better at the back as well. Um, next season, I think we could run away with this title. Not that we haven't already run away with the title. After all, 24 points clear at the moment. But what I mean is, we could like just win every game kind of level. Now, I expect that at some point in this save, we probably will get to that kind of point. Because obviously we're going to be 
trying to go for Europe and we're going to have to have ridiculously good players in order to do that so it means that eventually it will reach a point where the league becomes completely uncompetitive and we basically become Celtic um, but with better luck in Europe it would appear uh, he's just a little bit Oh, around the corner for Otto. It's 3-0 after 11 minutes. And Mahatma Otto has two goals today. Um, he's all about the assists, but now he has 20 goals and 26 assists. For me, how can he not be our player of the season? The way he's performed has been utterly brilliant. Kovacevic with a lovely little ball played into his path. And surely a hat-trick for Otto today is on the cards. After 11 minutes, we're three goals to the good. We've scored with every single shot on target so far. Um, I don't really know what else we need to do. This game is pretty much done. Um... So, if you would like to talk amongst yourselves, I'm just going to put some elevator music on in the background. Struggling to cope with numbers in the midfield, lads. Apparently. We're struggling to cope here. Only 3-0 up after 20 minutes with 60% possession. We are struggling to cope. We need some help. Ball over the top for Rakowski. Can he whip it across here? And, oh, it's a penalty. I don't believe it. What is Bogosovac doing? I voted for him as player of the year. Um, so, I assume this is... Who's going to be taking this penalty? Because... Basanchez is on the pitch. Oh, it's Mahatma Otto for the hat-trick. Go on, Mahatma. Go on, Mahatma. Oh, Mahatma. You missed it. That's unlucky. So we should really be 4-0 up here, and Otto should have had a hat-trick in the first 20 minutes. Um, poor penalty. Well, actually, I say poor penalty. Great save is what I really mean. Um, what a start to this game. Oh, no. How good with a long-range free kick? Crossbar. Rakowski on the follow-up. It's 4-0. And Rakowski now has his 18th goal of the season, and this is just like we were in the last game. We flew into an early lead, and... I'm tempted, you know, I am tempted at half time to switch it to uh, overload and just see what we can do in the second half against these guys. See how many goals, Pekovic to have a pop? No, oh, it's bounced back at him, unfortunately. Drops it short for Gavrich, will he have a pop? Oh, it's another penalty! Right, Otu's got to score this one. We should be... Si <laughs> Hat-trick time for Mahatma Otu. I don't know what's going on in this league, but we've just... Oh, it's going to be someone else. Have they changed it? So Otu will not take it this time. Oh, yes, he will. Go on, Mahatma. You can do it this time, lad. There we go. 3-0. Uh, 3-0. A hat-trick for Mahatma Otto. 5-0 to Red Star Belgrade in the first half away from home. At the team that are fourth in the league. Let's make no mistakes there. They are fourth in this division. And Otto, really, if he scored that first penalty, he should have four goals by now. He's been utterly brilliant. Um, I'm not going to turn it on overload just yet. I'm going to wait till half time just to make sure we don't get any injuries or silliness. And uh, yeah, then I might go overload for the second half, see if we can get our biggest win of the season. Since we've had a couple of 7 2s and a 5 0, but I want to see if we can get like a 6 or 7 nil, particularly at a team that's fourth in the division. So we're going to go on overload just because why the hell not? Doesn't matter if we concede a couple now. I'm just going to see how many goals we can score in this game. Uh, I'm going tactically ridiculous. And uh, yeah, so three goals from Hatmar, too. No assists. That is disgraceful. I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. You can't be doing that, Mahatma. Sorry, mate, but you're gonna, I'm going to have to substitute you now. So 21 goals this season for him and 26 assists is utterly ridiculous, but uh, well done him for getting that. My play, like my personal choice for player of the season, like for me, but I don't think he'll win it because of his average rating, um, which is really surprising when you consider that he pretty much contributes something in every game we've played. Um, but there you go. I guess he just doesn't get the limelight. He sort of the creator but you can't really complain he's a creator that scored 21 goals <laughs> long range effort from Rakowski perhaps or is he going to slide it through the channel no nope, he's just going to fluff it wide come on I'd like to see a sixth goal from us in the second half we'd like I'd like to see us push at them a little bit now and really start to turn the screw they've had to make substitutions as well now hmm who can we bring in oh Pantich now oh that's really poor from us what a save. Um, Cleo should have done a lot better there because all he has to do is not hit that at my goalkeeper's face and he's going to score. Uh, Cernic. Uh, but -a -but -a -but -a -but -a -but right. We do seem to be really struggling in second halves of games. Uh, we seem to fly out at teams in the first half and in the second half just be completely impotent. Uh, right, so we're going to bring on the Vuk. Uh, oh, Rakowski's been great, but I'm going to give the Vuk a chance. And I think after that, Despovich has actually been quite quiet today, despite being a striker in a team that's winning 5 0. It's all about Otto. I'll probably bring Strakwalersi on for um, Despotovic in about five, six minutes, just to try and. I can't believe we've not got any more goals here. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Probably should have left it on control, really, but I just wanted to see what happened if we piled forward out. Let's just go back on a control for the rest of this game. No need to fuck around. Um, he says after doing that. Uh, let's see. I need to put that onto a different screen. Right, let's get that in there. Go! And... Oh, come on! Really? Like, how far out was that? 
You should not be conceding a free kick from that far out. I don't care how good. It... Oh, that didn't. It wasn't even a good free kick. I mean, it went in the net, but like that was woeful. And that's the sort of shit we need to cut out next season. And I'm going to try and maybe look for a new goalkeeper, I guess. But I just don't know whether that really makes any difference. Um, I can't believe we've not scored more goals in this second half. But hey, 5-1, it's another five goals. We've scored five in each of our last... We've 15 goals in our last three matches. Uh, we are going to finish the season on 100 and... 104? That's only seven short of the league record. And that was in a league where there was eight more games. So I think next year we can maybe have a go at beating that. But there we go. Mahama Otto is obviously man of the match for that one. And rightly bloody so. Partizan do have that game in hand still. But it doesn't matter because they are not going to be coming second. They're going to come third this season. Because Napradak have actually done it and 104 goals and if they concede we're going to have the best defensive record too so we're just gonna i think they're playing late on so we're just gonna uh, continue here so we can see what happens in that game and they did actually win but they did concede two goals which means that we actually do get the uh, best defensive record in the league as well with 30 goals conceded in 30 games not bad so top goal scorer luka antic with 17 but otto's got 16 rakowski with 15 um 18 assists as well just what a player just insane so there we have it guys um in the next episode you will obviously be joining us for our first champions league game um do you, what's going on here I, that's weird anyway yeah you'll be joining us for our first champions league game of the season hopefully we'll have been given a better coefficient this time around but i really can't guarantee that's going to be the case so it might still be a really tough one hopefully i'll be able to bring in some players this time because we've got a lot more leagues turned on i'm really looking forward to this transfer window i'm gonna go hunting crawling through the brush going you romanian man come here and so on and so forth so yeah there we go um if you like what you've seen 104 goals um that's what i've seen anyway you've not seen all of those but well yash no you haven't have you um yeah if you like what you've seen please feel free to drop a like on the video and if you liked it even more than that please feel free to subscribe to my channel for my portsmouth and red star bell right in your inbox every single day at 5 30 and 8 o'clock and i'll see you guys in the next episode i don't know why i'm talking a little bit weird now i sound like a bit cockney um yeah see you guys then Bye bye